figure out a way to try to get everybody to see as many moths and other critters as we possibly can and have as much fun and, as we can. Safety, above all, stick together. We should stay within earshot and eye shot of each other. Don't go wandering off. Uh, so um, that's the first thing. Here's what the program is, okay? There's three ways that we're gonna try to see moths tonight. There are gonna be moths on the wildflowers throughout the meadow. Moths nectar at night, just like butterflies nectar during the day. And so if you go to any of the, as we will go as a group through the, the wildflower gardens, especially the bone set, which is the sort of umbiliferous, eupatorium, uh, 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 white, showy flowers. That's very good for attracting moths at night. We were here a couple of weeks ago, and we had some pretty good luck on the eupatorium, which is the white flower. There are also some other flowers that are all in bloom. Just if you have your flashlights with you, which you were told it was a good idea because you're not going to see much without a flashlight, shine the flashlight on the flowers. Try to do it in a, um, uh, as, uh, um, as, uh, yeah, as unintrusive a way as possible. Usually if you shine the flashlight down and then gently bring it up, you won't startle the moth. A lot of times you'll see the moth's eyes, like a, like a cat's eyes, shine in the dark and you'll know you have something. We'll be together, so we'll do it as a group. That's, that's one way, moths on flowers. Number two, I took, we went on a walk about a half hour ago and we painted a lot of trees with mung, which is basically a fancy way of saying rotting fruit, beer, and sugar. That's a traditional way to attract lots of moths. Not every kind of moth will come to that, but lots of moths will. Again, we did that last week, a couple of weeks ago with varying amounts of success, but we'll, uh, we'll walk to the trees together again with the flashlight. Don't shine it right on the patch right away. I'll try to lead, and if I see something on there, we'll try to get as many people to see the moths that are on the bait as possible. Number three, I brought a fluorescent lantern we're going to go to one of the wildflower gardens, put out a sheet, put the fluorescent lantern in front of the sheet, and see what comes to it. Again, lots of moths are attracted to light. Not all moths, but lots of moths, and we'll see what comes to it. Okay, so that's the program. It's all within a three-block area. It's from here to 106th Street, okay? That's kind of thing. Uh, just two things. While I have a mass audience, I'm going to answer two questions that I get asked all the time. I'm not really going to answer them, but I'm going to try to... <laughs> so I don't have to answer them later by any number of people. Number one, what's the difference between a butterfly and a moth? Get that question all the time. There is no difference between butterflies and moths. Butterflies are fancy looking moths, okay? That's it. End of the, end of the, end of the case. If you, it's like saying, what's the difference between an owl and a bird, all right? All owls are birds, but not all birds are owls. All butterflies are moths, but not all moths are butterflies. Take, if that's the only thing you learned today, take it away with it. Number two, why are moths attracted to light? Nobody knows, okay? <laughs> They're trying to figure it out. They've been trying to figure it out for a long time. If you Google moths and light and attracted, you'll find out that there's a lot of people trying to figure it out, but they don't know. Okay, so we can get started. Now, it's not dark yet, but that doesn't matter because there's a lot of moths and other insects that are out on the wildflowers right now. We just saw them. So if we start walking up through the wildflower meadows, we're gonna see lots of interesting things, including some day flying moths, and including some moths that you can flush up. And another thing I'll tell you is I brought a net with me, so no harm to the moths, but I'll catch a few of them, put them in a jar, you can pass the jar around, and then we'll let the critter go, okay? Does that sound like a plan? So why don't we get started?